against this sword, which in turn, right, can really stop this from the combo. It's one of the best tools to do so. We just saw it. There is that drag down forward air, and already going to rack up 60. Around 60% right there, 73. Getting those really, really good down airs just to read uh, Steezy's air dodges. And right oh, now! That was that was disgusting. What a start from Kaleidoscope. What more can you ask from this guy? And we were talking about it earlier. You know, all it takes is Falco to get one hit off. And, you know, it's just a domino effect at that point. It's just a ongoing strain. And right now, Stacey's kind of got to find a way to make this comeback. And, you know, we mentioned, right, the creativity on his combo starters. We're seeing these these perfectly spaced illusions. We're seeing down air right into that kill confirm on the flat drop read, something you don't see very often. Kaleidoscope trying to push the mileage as far as he possibly can mm -hmm. on this bird, but Steezy, after that explosive start, has just slowed the pace of the game now, right? And is down now playing around these platforms very well, and he's using the sword to really prevent some of these more committal start up Ooh. options, like the illusion, from finding consistent connection. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree with everything that you said right there. And I mean, I like that CZ is trying to slow down the pace just to kind of recollect himself because when you lose a stock that quickly in that kind of mad manner, then you kind of just got to think, okay, what am I doing wrong? And right now, Kaleidoscope is catching everything that CZ is doing wrong and has a two stock lead at 118% with a little bit of rage and a little bit of time. Kaleidoscope could potentially find a three stock. But he's sitting pretty comfortable with those two stock buffers. Yeah, his discipline on when to find these combos Oh, opening has been so good for the most part. Yes, he's taken a couple hits off the forward tilt and maybe he doesn't need to good optimally. Opening. That time it's just okay. He got Dolphin Slash, right? That being one of the best combo break buttons off the ground in the entire game. So making some amount of sense. We did just lose the full screen picture, but now it is back, my friends. And the Firebird not going to find anything, but neither is the Dolphin Slash. So both players are just going to reset the stage, but CZ able to continue the advantage stage here. Yeah, I mean, regardless of the fact that Steezy, that Steezy has advantage, it's just the fact that he's allowing Kaleidoscope to recover so easily. Of course, we know that Falco has really, really good, uh, you know, tools for recovery. Not only does he have one of the highest jumps in the game, he also has Firebird, he also has, you know, that, that illusion. And that's kind of just helping Kaleidoscope survive for as long as he can, because we know that Lucina can definitely get a few combos off. It's just whether or not you can execute that. And right now, Steezy's finding it really difficult to get all these combos off. Absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely, but now watch here at the ledge. Watch the dash dance, right? Variable distance, and it's just trying to bait CZ under this platform and able to do so, but seeding a little too much ground to the point that he that he was the one locked out of using aerials to approach. CZ then taking it all the way to the bank with the forward air and now having the corner pressure situation. This could be a huge time for him to find the break here, trying to st hold on for dear life at kill percent. All Kaleidoscope needs is one hit, but CZ is in a perfect position to never give him the opportunity to find it. Yeah, not only not giving him the opportunity to find it, but also just not giving up at all. Oh, looking for the counter on the fire, but he had the right idea. It just was a little bit too early on that. But right now, Steezy playing defensively super well. And again, this this corner pressure has been helping him out immensely, just getting up this damage and able to fake out that up smash with the wave land, but unfortunately going to get hit by that down tilt, which kills super early. But the thing is with Steezy and what's very important about him, we were talking about it earlier of, you know, like what, like, people specific thing we were supposed to look at is that Steezy can adapt super well. He can lose the first game, but then game two and game three, all of a sudden it's a completely different Steezy that you see. Absolutely. Right, I want now, at the end of that game, it really went from from Kaleidoscope's game to lose to Steezy's game to lose, and then Kaleidoscope eventually still very barely finding a way, but Steezy he had the right idea up until the end of the game. That counter might have very well done it, but just getting stuck, right? Guessing, and there again, trying to call something out preemptively on the Dolphin Slash, and that's gonna lead to this whole extension. Mm -hmm. And I mean, Steezy was doing well because compared to the first game where he was getting hit by a lot of you know different combos. Granted, that might have been him just trying to adapt to Kaleidoscope and maybe trying to spot, scout out what options he's doing. But I mean, Steezy now he has an idea. He's trying to download Kaleidoscope well and trying to go for that shield break, but gets the F smash again. That's what's been getting him a lot of kills. It's just reading Kaleidoscope's options off that ledge, and we saw that you know at the dying embers of that last game. Right now, Kaleidoscope getting a little bit of a combo, but Steezy able to avoid it. And the combo, though, gonna be answered in turn by that up tilt back air. Air Kaleidoscope has been ready on the DI weeds every single time. Steezy kind of get, is getting mixed a little bit because of the DI trap that that up tilt can set up between the up air and the back air. Just hasn't been ready to call it out. That was an interaction. 
Yeah, but we saw it earlier, of course, that, you know, that Dolphin Slash, which killed Kaleidoscope and ultimately took his first stock in that first game. It didn't send him anywhere, though. It didn't, but it definitely got him out of that combo. And I think that's what CZ really wanted, was trying just to get out of, you know, any Agreed. potential uh, confirm, any combination right now. He's doing well, gets another F Smash on the ledge. He's been hitting that so consistently. And maybe Kaleidoscope's got to mix up his options a little bit more and maybe scout out the F Smash that cz has been hitting so well. They're now finally coming back in, but missing that up landing up air combo starter. One of the things Falco looks for less often, but is an incredibly strong way for them to land, try and find a reversal situation. Instead, though, it's going to be Steezy maintaining stage control and the pace of the game. Kaleidoscope, though, going to edge the jump one more time. Mm -hmm. And Steezy, the biggest adjustment he's made this game is just staying more grounded. Mm -hmm. Right? He's jumping less. Less of these up tilts are calling out his jumps. Lumps, less of the forward airs are catching him on his own. And even though he's going to lose the stock there, it was once he started jumping that he really started to lose stage control. And speaking of jumping right there, you saw Kaleidoscope jump and immediately Steezy was just ready to pull that trigger with the F Smash. And that's what I was talking about. Steezy's ability to adapt to his opponents in game two and potentially game three is kind of what keeps him, makes him so good in Tri-State. And that's really difficult to do. You know, a lot of players, they don't tend to adapt to their opponents. So I love to see that Steezy's doing that. But let's see what Kaleidoscope has done to adjust to Steezy's now very grounded approach against him. Maybe he starts, you know, trying to spam lasers a little bit more and kind of stop uh, Steezy from approaching. And already just starting off by just trying to establish stage control, but neither player going to find it this early on. It's going to be the up tilt to get out of the combo starter, but putting you in special fall is still going to be Kaleidoscope's turn. He does drop the combo because of the awkward position on the platform. And Steezy's going to get one more chance at this one. Yeah, it really has just been, you know, Kaleidoscope gifting Steezy a lot of these opportunities, kind of just to get these, uh, not only reads, but just get all these combos off. Because Kaleidoscope has been kind of falling into a lot of Steezy's uh, traps. He's getting hit by those F-tilts. A lot of really big hitboxes from Lucina, honestly, that are really quick and don't have a lot of end lag. So it's difficult to punish, but punishing that spot dodge and getting that read off that stage, getting a good edge guard to make sure, you know, make it certain that he has this lead going into the second stock. I like the positioning there from CZ that up tilt by putting you in the platform tech chase, trying to find more off of it, getting creative to find ways to extend Lucina's relatively limited yeah. true string combo game here. here. Er, and no able jump. to just find the most you're gonna get, right? Which is fair into fair most of the time. Just so take a little bit of stage control, doing a really good job now, though. Not ever giving Kaleidoscope significant hits, right? Kaleidoscope has not been able to find a combo starter since that initial one. Yeah. And I was actually just about to mention that. It's just we saw that Steezy was able to fall out of that nair, and it really didn't hit as much. And so Steezy is doing a good job at kind of just falling out of these multi hits, which is something that Falco really relies on to not only get his combos, we get a lot of damage. And that stock's going to be taken again with that Dolphin Slash. Yeah, and that down air, not necessarily, you know, a, a bad option on shield. If you space it perfectly, it can be very safe. But that time hitting the top center of the shield, so not having the optimal spacing. And Steezy going to punish that one with a quick stock. Now, though, just trying to find his way back in and getting stage control. We saw this in game one, and now Kaleidoscope has just not been able, like, feels like he's been fully shut down. CZ did lose game one, but has just found the adjustment Woo! since then, and there's going to be no more opportunities 